Hello everybody and welcome to today's video called Train Depart. Now, going in blind is usually what I like to do in these playthroughs, but I do know a little bit about this game. Obviously given the title, uh, Train Depart, I am a young boy that's traveling across the country to go visit his parents and apparently something disturbing happens. Now, I'll leave it at that for you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into it. June 25th. This story, it's not something I tell often, honestly. I wasn't sure if I ever would. It was during one of the hot, stifling summers, the kind where the air feels heavy and time seemed to slow down. I was 16 and for the first time I was traveling alone. My parents had gone ahead to our family gathering by plane. Me? I was taking the train to meet them. You know, there's something about being alone on a journey that makes you feel more grown up than you are. I had my backpack, my phone, and laptop. Felt like an adventure waiting to happen. When the train started moving, I felt a mix of excitement and a little bit of worry. But I had no idea what was really ahead. I thought it was just going to be a straightforward ride. Wait, we're here. Train jet, one message. Good day, your seat number is 36. Please take your designated seat upon board. Thank you for choosing train jet. Okay. Let's get right in it. Where am I? Whoa. Okay. Sweet, so I have my bag. Let's just go find my seat, huh? So that's 39 to 34. It's all these people here. Excuse me, sir. Get, get out of my way. Get out of my way, sir. Sir? May I please get past to my seat? Oh, absolutely, your highness. Damn, that guy's rude and he's fast. You could have just put your bag down, bro. It's not that big a deal. All right, let's get 36. 36 right there. Before sitting in my seat, I should have stowed my backpack away. Perfect. Mom, one message. Have you left already? How's your seat? Everything okay? Yeah, we're on our way now. Find my seat, alright, but you know, some people here could definitely be nicer. I'll text more once we're further along. Just setting up my laptop for the journey. My laptop must have been in the backpack, which I left on here. There we are. Uh, I should have placed the notepad on the table first. Alright, let's sit. Table was small, but laptop was somehow fitting it. Twelve oh five AM Vaklav, three texts. Let's see, Mr. Vaklav. Weird ass name. Man, you online? Arm wrestlers too? Sorry man, train Wi-Fi. Just needed to log in. Want to play the clicker before we arrive? A clicker. No way. This is just like a clicky game. What the heck, bro? Oh yeah, let's level up. Wait, I need 47 for that. 47. Bro! Sorry, what can I get you? Croissant plate and lemon soda. I'm afraid we don't have any soda. I can get you some water with the meal. Sir. I'll bring your order a little bit later. Okay, that was weird. The train was quite modern and it was strange that they had only water, but you know, such things happen on trains. Alright, let's play some clicker. Dang, I'm already at 270. 
I was thinking about going to the toilet before my meal. Get that. How you level up with these games? Just buy all the level ups. Get there super quick. Alright, let's go pee. Let's go pee, Rock. Go ahead. There was a strange bag in the toilet. Okay, it's, it's like a uniform. Hmm, pretty strange someone would leave that there like that. The food could be back in any time, so I returned to my seat without a second's thought. Wait. You okay, bro? Alright. Whoa. Off, lady. Sorry if he seems a shy. He's got a big heart. Always thinking of others. I just hope the world sees him too. Okay. I'll go ahead and sit down. Twelve twenty-one p.m. Mom, four texts. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Looks great. It's okay. In those trains, they make better quality food. Is it tasty? Yeah, shame they had no soda. Good. Brownie face for me, of course. Soda. All right, let's eat. I needed to drink something before I ate. I'm sorry. You are the gentleman wanting the soda. We have found a pack in our storage. Enjoy, please. Okay, so low key, that guy's literally wearing the uniform that we found in the bathroom. So, should we drink this? Needed to drink something before any. Okay, well, we have to. I just got roofied. I was so thirsty that I drank the whole soda in a single gulp. Oh, all right. So now what? But I was happy and hoped it wasn't lying there for years. Okay. After a meal, I wanted to spend some time on the walk, or I could just play laptop. Well, let's play laptop, actually. I don't like that game. Okay, so we have 54,000 points. Uh oh. Yep, we just got roofied. Oh no, I'm about to die! Fishbolt. Oh no. Suddenly, I felt a strong drowsiness. To be honest, I always had, a, had one after a good meal, but that one was more persistent. And it was as if I could not resist it at all. Oh, there he is. That's him. Bro, he touched my bag. 1600 PM. Whoa. What the heck is going on? The longer this train takes, the more it wears me down. Maybe we could check the bathroom? See if that bag is still there? No, yeah. So it was definitely that dude. I wonder... Okay, so I see an officer over there. Let's go talk to this officer. ID and ticket, please. Traveling alone? Yes, my parents are waiting for me at the destination. Huh. Luggage contents, any prohibited items? Just my clothes. Always ready, son. 
guess additional search isn't necessary. I know, my parents told me to. Border control officer seemed to be quite tense, but finally decided to leave me alone. Crane started leaving to the last station just after he left. Would you like to order anything else? Just one more soda, please. Sorry, I told you before, we have no soda, unfortunately. We had an unexpected shipment delay. But your colleague said you found last package. Do you feel okay? You don't look well. I'm fine, I guess. You are probably tired. We will arrive soon. Please call me if you need anything. Yeah, so now it's confirmed. It was definitely the guy in the bathroom. Totally roofied in my ass. The man that was in my dreams. He was looking for something in my baggage. Yep. What did he do? What did he do? There it is. Strange bag. For some reason, I thought it would be better to check what's inside in the toilet where no one will see me. Okay. I'm here. We're here. I wasn't sure, but this kind of looked like the drugs that they showed in the movies. What do we do? Could we flush this thing? No way. Oh my god. I sealed my fate. For some reason, it, I didn't come up with nothing better than to flush it. All right. That sucks. Jesus! Hi there, little boy. What did you do with my little present? What did I do? Sorry? Yeah, the present. I'm traveling with it to my old friend. Did you tell something to the police about it? No, no, I wouldn't. Now listen to me very carefully. If you want to be safe, you're coming with me and sit on your seat until the last station. And remember, last thing. You do something funny and it will be the end badly for you and you, for your papa and mama. Come on, go forward. Oh, I'm not even kidding. The spelling in this game is horrible. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna lock myself. You boy. Oh my god, it worked. Open it now, or you will know what we'll be after. He was able to break in this door. I must be doing something. Oh shit, oh shit. I said open it. I just need what's in the bag. I flushed it. You did what? I will bury you alive under this, this train. Open this goddamn door now, I said. Oh, oh shit. What can I do? Click, click, oh. Holy crap, how did I do that? Trainjet, thank you for traveling with Trainjet. <laughs> this is train boarding service. Are you okay? We had an emergency call from this toilet. Please open the door. Not opening. That's it? A few years have passed since the incident. My parents had many meetings with the police, but in the end, everything turned out all right. Our family was provided with protection and even received a certificate from the city. And little by little, memories of the event had faded. But since that day, I have started traveling by plane. Wow, there you have it guys, that's the end of that story. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments, if you guys like this gameplay, or stories like this. I'm very heavy in the theme now of fears to fathom-ish sort of games. They intrigue me, and I feel like I'm in uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, just sipping on a piña colada. You guys feel it? Are you guys there? 
Alright guys, thanks for watching. I love your support. I have some exciting things planned for the next couple of videos here. And yeah, love you guys. See you in the next one.